After four years under wraps and a massive renovation, the doors open this weekend to Sagamore Hill, the Long Island home of President Theodore Roosevelt. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports this 1880s landmark is back in all its glory. Open the 130-year-old front door at Sagamore Hill, and you can imagine what Theodore Roosevelt would say. He would be very pleased at the condition of his house. And this weekend, the public can also walk into the home of a presidential great after a $10 million renovation. TR made this Cove Neck 28-room mansion his summer White House. The first president with instant access via the newly invented telephone. For its curator, it's been a seven-year labor of love. The roof no longer leaks. We don't have a threat of electrical fire. I hope that the house will now survive another hundred years. The National Park Service painstakingly packed away 12,000 items, 8,000 books, dozens of hides and mounts, while restoring top to bottom. 19th century windows repaired, wallpaper rehung, artwork cleaned, woodwork refinished, and while keeping history intact. Throughout the house, there are speaking tubes. Staff could communicate with each other, family could make requests. Modern touches. Is added computerized temperature control, security, and electricity. For some lucky kids, a sneak peek. This is going to be really awesome, so brace yourselves. For a sense of a larger than life American icon. We're a deal for every man and every woman. A New York governor who became our youngest president, broke monopolies, created food and drug oversight, championed conservation, fought battles, and made Nobel Prize winning peace. He did steps two at a time. He read two books a day, and he immersed himself in everything. He had a, was a character of enormous breadth. And he called Long Island home. The grand reopening is Sunday, with thousands expected for a good old-fashioned celebration to welcome back a Long Island and national treasure. At Sagamore Hill, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.